business at Lira City Council was disrupted for hours after division councillors from Lira City East and Lira City West went rowdy. They stormed the city council headquarters with the firewood around midday. They set a fireplace in front of the city council in protest of what they term as unfair treatment. We have been elected as city division, but we are now getting paid as LC3 council. This is not a sub county. This one is a city. We have to be given what we are supposed to, to be get. We are not here for anything else. We are not causing any chaos. I, I have come here expecting to go back with my expressions today. Over 94 councillors from the two divisions in Lira City claim the 35,000 shillings they are being paid is contrary to the 250,000 shillings entitlement for a city division councillor. They vowed not to leave the council headquarters until their demands are settled. I've realized that from our other cities like Gulu, Mbale and Jinja, these people they have been getting their money fully. Why only Lira? So we came together now to come and inquire because we, we learned that these people were only giving us 35,000 but we are entitled to receive 250,000. A city must be a city. If it is a city by name, people should come out quickly and tell us. We are a city but certain aspects of our operations are still like we are municipality. What we give out is what we receive. Although they later disagreed among us themselves while engaging with the city authorities, some councillors claim some of their colleagues had taken money to sabotage the ongoing process. I gave you people the document. I've been following up. I've been following up. The RCC Lawrence Gole later intervened to bring calm. It is on Monday that we are, shall still come back here. But I would also love to advise the government, if they are not yet ready to create an administrative unit, they should first analyze it very well before they have gone ahead to create that administration, uh, administrative unit, especially Ministry of Local Government. Eddie Oloa, UBC News.